Hi, welcome to Moomoo Math. Today we're going to look at the volume of prisms and cylinders and pyramids and cones, but we're going to concentrate on prisms and cylinders first. First, we're going to look at their characteristics. They all have different shapes of bases. So you may have a square pyramid and the pyramid comes straight up. You might have a circular one and it comes straight up and that falls into the cylinder category. It might be a triangular base and it comes straight up so that all the bases can be different. The shapes also are three-dimensional with a length, width, and a height. The shapes are going to have parallel bases. So that's how you're going to decide what the bases are. You're going to look for the parallel sides. All the faces except the bases have to be rectangles. Okay, so here's our formula. The volume is equal to the base area times the height. Well, the base area is going to change based on the shape of the base. Your, your base may be a square. So your S squared formula would go in right here and you'd have S squared times height if it was a square pyramid or rectangle which is length times width, so you guys might recognize that, length times width times height. A triangular uh, prism, which would be one half BH, which this is the base of the triangle, and then times the height. And then a circle, which is pi r squared, which is our cylinder, pi r squared times height. And then uh, you might even have a trapezoidal base, and the area of a trapezoid is one half the uh, height times the average or the bases added together. I actually like to rewrite the formula where I average the bases times the height, but that's fine too. Um, and then you plug that in here for your trapezoid base and then times the height of the whole pyramid. So let's look at this example. This one falls into the circular base, so this is actually a cylinder where our diameter is 20 and our height is 5. So see the shaded part? Those are our parallel bases. So our bases are circles. So let's start plugging in. What would be the radius? Well, the radius is 10. So 10 squared times pi. So that's pi r squared times the height. Well, what's the height of this pyramid? I know it's turned sideways, but the height is 5. So this ends up being uh, 100 times 5. So 500 pi. And then this is in feet, so we have to account for the units, feet, and this is cubed because it is three-dimensional, it is volume. And that's how you do that first one. So it's the base area times the height of the pyramid. Now let's look at some more of these. Okay, so this next one you should have in your note sheet. This one is a rectangular prism, and you can say, well, these two ends are my bases, or you can use the base down here and the base up here. Rectangular prisms, you can turn different ways. I'm going to use this base and this base as my two parallel bases, but you don't have to. So what's my base area? Well, length times width. So this is going to be a length times a width for the rectangle part, and then times the height of the pyramid. Well, length times width is going to be 10 times 5 and then times your height, which is 6. So that's 50 times 6, which is 300, in this case, inches cubed. And that's how you'd find that volume. You guys are probably pretty comfortable with those. Now these are going to get a little bit trickier. On this one, where are the bases? Look for your parallel part. So I'm going to shade this triangle and this triangle. Those two are parallel to each other. So I have to find that base area. So what's the area of a triangle? One half, the base of the triangle times the height. And then this height, the second height is actually the height of the pyramid. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in, that's eight. Now let's concentrate on just the face here, this triangular, um, right triangular base. So that's gonna be one half. Well, what's the base of this? Well, that's four. And what's the height? Six. So one half times four times six is 12. 12 times 8 is 96, and this is centimeters cubed. And that's how you'd find the, the triangular, the volume of a triangular prism, where the triangle's base area is put in here. Okay, the next one up is this one. Now, let's look carefully. What do we have? We have rectangle faces, but then this face down here and this face back here those two are trapezoids, so we're going to have to use that trapezoid formula. Well, let's go back for the base area of a trapezoid. We're going to have one half um, the height times the average of the bases. 
Well, the average, the bases on these, these two bases have to be the parallel sides. So they're going to be 6 and 9. 6 and 9 are my two bases. So on a trapezoid, those are the bases. And then what's my height? Is my height 8 or is it 10? Well, it's 8 because it's the altitude. It's that right angle, so I have to use 8. So 1 half of 8 is 4, and 4 times 15 is 60. So that is my base area of one base. Now I take it times the height of this pyramid. Oh, wait a minute. This height of the pyramid, I do believe they want us to use the 10 here. I believe that 10 was supposed to be there. So times 10, and that would be 600 millimeters cubed. And that's how you'd find it, because you're going to take your base area times the height, and that height is 10 of the whole pyramid. Okay, now let's try this one. This is our cylinder. Okay, the volume of a cylinder, base area times height, but the base is going to be our circle times the height. So let's plug in pi r squared. Well, what's our radius? Our radius is not 4, but it's what? 2. So, because our diameter is 4, so our radius is 2 times the height of 15. So we're going to have 2 squared, which is 4. So 4 pi times 15, and 4 times 15, we just said a second ago, was 60. So 60 pi, and that would be in meters cubed. And that's how you find the volume of this cylinder. Okay, so there are our different types of prisms. Now let's take a look at our pyramids and cones. There's an excellent video. And it's on this link right here, and you can stop the video if you want and, and type it in. But it's really good, and it shows you how to compare the volume of a prism to the volume of cones and pyramids. So if you get a chance, please take the time to go look at that. I think it really hits home the concept. Okay, so comparing the volume of a prism in a cylinder to a cone. Um, the video shows you specifically, and I'll do a real brief overview. Basically... If you take a prism and you divide it into three parts, it's going to be the same volume of a, the, in, the cone that's inside. So to find the volume of a cone or a prism is just one-third the volume of the associated prism. Okay, so if you find the volume of the associated prism, just take one-third of it or divide it by three, and you're going to have the volume of the cone or the pyramid. Okay. So that's where this formula comes from. It's base area times height, but then we have to take one third of it. That's the volume of a pyramid. Again, your base area depends on what shape it is. Is it a square? Is it a circle? So is it a cone? Or is it just a triangle? Okay, so here's some simplified formulas. So you just, again, take your one third of the base area times the height, one third of the base area times the height, one third base area times height. So now let's take those and apply them. Okay, so let's find the volume of this pyramid that is actually inside this cube. Okay, so you can see that's one third of the volume. It only takes up, see how there's so much other space in there? Okay, so what would be the formula for this one? Well, base area times height would be six times six, because it's a square, times six for the height. So six times six is 36, and 36 times six is 216, but it is a pyramid. So we have to take one third of it, right? So we take one third of all that. So let's turn our handy dandy calculators. Do 216 divided by 3, and that gives us 72. So 72 is the volume of that pyramid. But we know that the prism associated with it is 216 centimeters cubed, but the pyramid is only 72 centimeters cubed. Okay. Let's look at the next one. The next one, again, we have a pyramid because we have a point at the top. That's how you tell. We have a point. Let's look at our base. Okay, our base is 12 by 10, and our height looks like it's 17. So let's look at this triangle. So what's the area of our base? One half base times height, then times the height of the pyramid. But then, don't forget, it's a pyramid, so we have to take one-third of all that. Okay, so let's find the area of the base. One-half of 12 
times 10. So 12 times 10 is 120, half of that is 60. Now times the height, well the height is 17. So let's take 60 times 17 and that's going to give us 1020. But it is a pyramid, so the last step we're going to take one third of it. So divided by three or times one third and that is 340. In this case it's centimeters cubed because it is volume. Okay, last one up here is our cone. Okay, our cone, let's write our formula, one-third base area times height, but we're going to replace the base area with a circle, which is pi r squared. Okay, so what's our radius? We don't have it, but we can figure it out. What do you see right here? A right triangle, right? So what side are we missing? We're missing this leg over here, so we're missing either an A or a B. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Now you should recognize this one. This is one of our triples. So A squared plus 64 equals 100, and A squared equals 36, so A is 6. Yes, 6, 8, 10 is a multiple of the 3, 4, 5 triangle. So hopefully you recognize that. If you didn't, just work the Pythagorean theorem. Now let's plug that into the radius. So one-third pi times the radius, which we now know is six squared times the height. Okay, which is our height? I hope you're saying eight, because eight is the altitude and that is the height. This, the height is always perpendicular to the base. So that's going to give us 36 pi times eight. And I'm going to go ahead and divide by three first. So it's going to give me 12, and 12 times 8 is 96 pi, and this is in meters cubed. And there we go. That's how to find the volume of that cone. Okay, that is all I have for today. So go and work on your prisms, which are two parallel bases, right? Two parallel bases. It's kind of fun to practice drawing those two if you want to practice drawing them. Or pyramids and cones that's the ones with the points at the top so there's a pyramid you got a cone circular base and it comes up okay so pyramids and cones prisms what is the ratio Ooh, the volume is one third right remember that hopefully this will help you have a great day